Hey guys, welcome back to Program Up. And today in this episode, we are really excited because we finally have the M2 processor along with the MacBook Air M2, and that is a completely new design and a form factor MacBook for which we had been waiting really long. So along with that, we also have the MacBook Pro with the M2 processor, and we'll also be having a look into that. What new things we get into the M2 processor MacBook Pro because that is a little bit old design MacBook still into the lineup with a new processor. But let's get into it along with everything else. So firstly, we'll be having a look at to the M2 processor. What are the new things that we get into the M2 processor? How does it compares to the M1 processor? So firstly, the four most important thing about the M2 processor is that it provides a really power efficient performance as compared to the M1 processor. If we compare that to performance with M1, so we can actually get an 18% better performance as compared to M1 and add to the same power consumption. So the power consumption is so the power consumption is exactly the same, but the performance has increased by 18%. So this is a really good performance leap over here add to the same power consumption uh, that is 15 watts. And if we even compare that to any other 10 core PC laptop chip, so we get an 1.9 X better performance as compared to that either as claimed by Apple. So we do have some graphs been showed by apple and we don't know what are the conditions in which it has been tested out but these are some of the graphs that has been provided by apple in the yesterday's event so it shows that it we can get a 2x almost 2x of performance leap as compared to a 10 core pc laptop chip so m2 has got so much of performance at to a really less amount of power consumption at around one fourth of the power consumption we get so much of performance into the m2 chip so this has been really exciting over here because if we can get so much of performance add to so much less power consumption that is going to be really great over here so let's talk about the chip even more so we can even see that the chip is featuring a 10 core gpu along with an 8 core cpu so the 8 core cpu is still remaining the same as we had into the m1 processor there are four performance cores and four efficiency cores along with that we have a new 10 core GPU so that is going to provide us a really great amount of GPU performance as well so if we compare the GPU performance to M1 so there's going to be 25 to 35 percent of graphical performance leap into the M2 processor and that is really great over here and by the way guys if we compare the GPU performance versus power for a 10 core PC laptop for the M2 processor so that is 2.3 x times more faster so that is going to be really great if that is actually true and we'll have to wait for the actual performance test so please do subscribe and we are obviously coming up with the unboxing and the complete review of the new macbook air with the m2 processor so please do subscribe to our channel for the unboxing and the complete review of the m2 processor and let's get into the m2 processor macbook now so firstly if we talk about the macbook air this is really stunning this is really gorgeous new macbook with a complete new design and a form factor as similar to the macbook pro 16 inches so it has coming into the completely unibody design that is built with aluminium and there are four new fresh colors into it as well as compared to the silver and the space grid that we had previously but now we have a completely new four gorgeous colors to choose from and also the thickness is just around 11.3 millimeters and 2.7 pounds is the weight for that so this is a really lightweight along with that we also have one more thing coming back to the macbook air and that is a magsafe charger so we have a magsafe charger back again along with two thunderbolt 4 ports so we have got now two thunderbolt 4 ports that can be utilized for some other usage along with charging with the magsafe and now if, along with the magsafe charger the macbook air also features fast charge that means you can charge the macbook air in just 30 minutes to up to 50 percent so that is going to be really great over here as compared to any other thing now also along with that we have a liquid retina display that is really stunning with a notch at to the top that incorporates a 1080p resolution new facetime camera into the macbook air as well that was initially launched into the macbook pro 16 inch and the 40 inch 
inch but now that is also available into the macbook air 13 inch and the display size has been increased a little bit because the bezels has been lowered down as so now the new display size would be 13.6 inches and that is going to be really great over here so the entire design and the form factor seems really appealing and gorgeous to me and i just can't wait to test out the new macbook air and one more thing that has been really great about the new macbook air is that it features now a full height function row with touch id so as similar to the macbook pros we also have the full height function row into the macbook air as well and let's get further more so as compared to the performances we do have great performance coming in into the m2 processor macbook air and once again this is a silent design that means it is completely in fanless design but we do have a fan option available into the macbook pro so the macbook pro will be coming into the same design and a form factor i don't know why they haven't upgraded the design and the form factor for macbook pro as well 13 inches but it remains with the same old design and along with that we can get a thermal stable environment into that that means it is coming with a fan system so that can provide us a really stable thermals into it and along with that we'll be having the m2 powered into it so the performance will be just around i can guess around that could be five to ten percent of performance leap into it but We'll be waiting for the test results by the way until unless we don't get the real models into our hands and now let's get to the pricing so what would be the pricing for these new macbooks that are coming up so considering the pricing it starts at 1199 for the 8 core cpu and 8 core gpu with the 8 gigabytes of unified memory and 256 gigabytes of ssd and if you want to switch to the 10 core gpu option so the price shifts to 1499 along with that we get an 8 core cpu 8 gigabytes of unified memory and 512 gigabytes of ssd storage so that is around 1500 dollars so if you are about to get a 10 core GPU model so you'll have to spend a little more into that and guys one more thing that is coming up into the new MacBook with the M2 processor is that we get a 35 watts dual USB-C compact power adapter that means you can connect two USB-C cables to charge two devices at the same time and if you want you can actually switch that to a 67 watts adapter as well so if you get into the 1499 model so you have an option to switch that to a 67 watts USB-C power adapter that will be used for fast charging your MacBook Air now and one more thing that is the core part of the M2 processor is that now it comes with a media engine as, com as compared to the M1 processor. So we got the media engine into the M1 Pro and in the M1 Max models but now it is also available into the M2 processor. That means it will provide us much more faster encoding for the videos and hardware accelerated video encoding and decoding so that will be really great over here because that was something that was missing into the m1 processor but now it's available into the m2 processor and that can provide us really great performance and leaps over the m1 processor so we'll be waiting for the test results and we are actually trying to get the new model as soon as it's available for purchase so right now it's not available for delivery and purchase but we are expecting that very soon into the july month we can get a new model for the macbook air m2 processor so we'll be testing that out and don't forget to subscribe us for more reviews and performance benchmarks on our channel so once again we'll be checking it out for everything for programming perspective so please stay tuned and meet you in the next episode till then goodbye